Hello everyone, welcome to my next video in this series of my NSC5 lab demo. Uh, my name is Devin Adams, I'm a foreign net instructor here in Tempe, Arizona, working for Worldwide Training Consultants. And uh, I've been doing several videos here about using the Forta Manager. So uh, I'm rolling with these, so just, just bear with me. All right, a little impromptu video session here. But in our last video, we were able to clone the initial policy package on the local Forta gates use dynamic mapping to map different physical interfaces on the remote FortiGates and also different objects. So local LAN over here is going to be a 10.10.20.0 subnet and local LAN over here is going to be 10.10.20.10.0 over here. All right, and that's how we can have a single policy be pushed down between the FortiGates. Now, uh, this will probably be the last video I do today. I did a lot of them, so um, I'm doing this for a participant of mine uh, that took my, my course. So shout out to Thomas if he's watching it. So just wanted to get these done for him to kind of review things. Um, but I'm going to show you how we can write one firewall policy now for both of those. So let's say that we were sitting around reviewing our security policies, real security policies, as in like the, you know, the top ones that come from from our C, you know, C level kind of management and they say, you know what, on our edges we need to have firewall with antivirus scanning out. So, okay, sure. So now we are tasked to essentially put scanning on all of our FortiGates across the board to do antivirus. Oh man, I'll never do these videos again when my kids are around. Anyways, that was the attack of the explicit deny. That's what I call my toddler. So anyways, in this video, um, sorry, I don't know where I was. Uh, we're going to write one firewall policy that will scan traffic on the interface, on the WAN interfaces for, for both of them. So uh, we've been tasked with this, like I said, and if we weren't using a Forda Manager, that would be a lot of work. All right, even to you know individually connect to all of them and, and do scripting would be a lot of work. So let's do it in the Florida Manager. That's our goal. So, all right, let's go ahead and go back to our Windows PC. All right, as you can see, we're all in sync here. There's the policy packages, but now we're going to create one policy package to rule them all. So um, I'm going to go to my policy and objects. All right, and I am going to clone this again because they're essentially identical. We didn't really need to do two of them. I was just showing you that you can have a policy package for your FortiGates. You can have a policy package for your remote FortiGates. Uh, be, but because the dynamic is working, I'm going to clone this package. All right. And this one I'm going to call um, antivirus. Sure, we'll just call it antivirus. All right, there it is. So, but now we are going to put on antivirus. All right, antivirus. We'll just do the the default one there. Okay, we're gonna hit all right. So now it's doing antivirus. And if you want to see specifically what that policy is, we can go to our object configuration. We can go to our security profiles. We can go to antivirus. There's the default. All right. And if we just double click on this bad boy, it just shows you that, you know, flow based inspection mode, full block. All right. So on and so forth. We're going to say OK. And also, if you guys are in here and you don't see an option that you want or you don't see an option, a lot of the uh, objects and the objects configurations are hidden. You're going to have to go to Tools. You're going to have to go to Display Options and pick the ones that you're not seeing. So, um, for example, if you want to uh, take a look at SSL, SSH inspection, if you wanted to, uh, I don't know, um, let's see here our VPN tunnels, all right, our local certificates. If we wanted to see our different zones, um, our different policy packages, right, we'd have to, we'd have to do that. So um, just something to keep in mind, guys, that if you don't see it, 
you probably need to come over here and and select it so um, anyways all right now let's go ahead and write that policy so let's go to device manager oh pff, device manager let's go to policy and objects all right antivirus and then our installation targets is going to be our local FortiGate because we cloned it but we're also going to add what our remote FortiGate okay and yes that was right you guys could pick both of them saying managed FortiGate meaning all the FortiGates that are managed but we'll just do it individually okay so and uh, yeah let's go ahead and install it so let's go to install install wizard antivirus we're gonna hit next yep it's gonna go ahead and push it down all right now this is okay uh, down here with these warning messages saying you are dropping a policy package that is not the same policy package that's on the FortiGate that you're managing so this is kinda like a check yourself before you wreck yourself like are you sure this is what you really want to do and and it is so that's fine alright now if you are wondering why you're seeing that message you can do an install preview and a policy package diff directly from here alright but it simply means that a policy package up here is not the same policy packages that are currently in synced so we're gonna hit install oops my bad bloop we're gonna hit install because that's what we want and then it'll push them down and then once again it'll take a moment for that to actually take place so uh, while that is working though I am going to come here and I'm gonna go to that uh, EI car test file because I believe it will pick this up even without a license I could be wrong we'll see if we get a virus <laughs> so <laughs> all right uh, we definitely do not want the secure site maybe there's an option for that a little bit later but because um, we didn't do deep inspection but let's go ahead and download the the test file okay I went ahead and did it in the clear so all right download and here we go a couple of, of viruses for us so but let's wait till that actually goes through so hey look at that it says that it it went through good times all right uh, let's go back to our uh, device manager everything's in sync we now have the antivirus package being applied okay and let's download a virus so um, as you can see antivirus has been applied to the local FortiGate and also the remote FortiGate using one single firewall policy now if we had 60 FortiGates a hundred FortiGates, a thousand FortiGates. I actually don't know the limits. Remember, it is per license. <laughs> this thing's licensed for 10. Anyways, um, this is way easier to provision those changings using the dynamic mappings. And that way we can get things done a lot more effectively and efficiently than just, you know, manually running scripts or logging into the GUI each and trying to figure it out. And that is really the heart and soul of the Florida manager so I'm gonna stop there alright so once again in this video we took advantage of our dynamic mapping and we created an antivirus uh, um, security you know profile and we applied it on our FortiGates and and it doesn't matter if it's two or two hundred it pushes down those changes and it works fairly well alright um, I probably should stop neglecting my kids for the day so I'm going to make sure my house hasn't been burnt down. Um, but other than that, I'm going to kind of, I have a couple more days before my licenses expire in my GNS3 lab here. I'm just going to keep on pushing it to see what else we can do. Uh, maybe my next set of videos, I will show provisioning templates and what those are. And I also want to show you guys how to take advantage of the Forta Analyzer. So we'll probably go from there. So, but uh, hopefully someone finds those helpful. And uh, if not, then I don't know why you're watching. I'm definitely not that good at this. So, and I'll talk to you guys next time. All right.